Thank you very much, Michael, for uh, allowing us onto your farm today to look at your system here. It's uh, very impressive. Would you like to give us a bit of an introduction? It is uh, 210 cows in Wilkin here, uh, robotic, mostly spring calving. Happy with the, the, the tree robot scenario and uh, cow flow? Yeah. And We're happy with it now, yeah, yeah. yeah. How long have you been milking with the robots? Uh, it is 17, 20, September 17 we started with them. And uh, it's three years in now, so. We're happy with it now, yeah. And you had an existing herd of cows here before? It wasn't yeah, a bunch of heifers you started with? No, we're milking all the time. We're with uh, 20 unit pile or so we had here. Okay. The yard here seems fairly central to the to the farm layout here. That's uh, fairly useful, I pre presume, with the, the tree road ABC grazing. It is just uh, fairly central, and uh, we had most of the roadways in, so we hadn't put in roadways, yet, so it seemed to work fairly well for us. Okay. And um, kind of cow flow then, and uh, training cows to the robots. Um, is there kind of uh, little tips or tricks that you might have that uh, might Help other fellas out there just uh, starting out. We uh, we don't uh, pre-train the heifers, but some people say they should do it. Um, mostly just after the calf, just put them in and uh, get them going. I wouldn't let them off with the main herd until I have them going well, maybe okay. a week or ten days. Some just keep them inside and keep them inside and keep them going until yeah. I'm happy with them. They're better milking and then I let them off. That's the way I do it. And probably. With the grass side of things, then baling any paddock that goes slightly strong, not forcing cows into heavy covers, and and um, yeah, we'll have to keep the covers down. If they're too strong, they won't like to graze them, and uh, they'll be coming back too soon. For you. you have to keep the grass allocation right. How do you find uh, lameness? So for cows that are walking to and through the robot all day long, but walking at their ease, they're not being driven on roads. The main lameness probably have some martillaris, but other okay. than that. Most other things are, seem to be a lot less than they used to be. So very little drops and things like no, that? Very few of them because they're travelling at their own pace. Yeah, pick their steps. Yeah. yeah. And would you have, um, say, cows then that uh, just couldn't be trained to the system or were you able to train them all for, for the system? We or? had a call, I think, three cows. Today. And was that due to tea placement or just temperament? Or? Temperament. Was the they were happy with the robot, they didn't like it. Yeah, so yeah. They just they moved them on. But a lot of farmers as well might be nervous about uh, the service and uh, the kind of technical complications that might be around robots. Have you had any issues along those lines? Nothing major, no. Yeah. Uh, a few smart things at the start, but nothing major. Like yeah. Very happy with that side of things. Obviously, when a, a machine goes down with a robot scenario as well, it has to be worked on straight away. You can't allow it just uh, wait until the following morning. Um, so I suppose service is key with regards. Well, you have to have good service, yeah. yeah. Very important. Right.